Dear friends, today we are going to tell you about a pigeon whose wings used to become gold at midnight. Let us tell you when a poor man found that pigeon, what did he do with it? Friends, this story has been described in such a way that there was a village and a poor farmer lived in the village. He was a farmer who was deprived of the happiness of having children. It was just him and his wife. The farmer used to earn a good living from whatever little he got from working in fields. Now, this is what happened to him every day. At some distance from the farmer's house, a rich man built a very luxurious mansion. The mansion was so beautiful that he had to build it. Seeing this, there was joy in the farmer's heart, but not jealousy, because even though the farmer was poor, he was a grateful servant of Allah. He was a farmer with a very kind heart and good conduct. He felt happy in behaving humbly with others. Because of his qualities, people considered him a good man and they also respected him from their hearts. The farmer was returning from the market around evening. It was winter season. It was raining lightly and strong winds were also blowing. He saw an old man who was freezing due to extreme cold. When the farmer saw the condition of the old man, he started saying in his heart that this man is of my sympathy. He should definitely help him. He came to know when he talked to the old man that he was really a man of sympathy. He lived in a village far away. He did not have warm clothes. The journey was very long. The poor man was hungry since morning. The farmer brought the old man to his home with respect, fed him, gave him drink, and gave him rest on the bed. When the sun rose in the morning, the old traveler said, Hey, noble-hearted, you have helped me a lot. I cannot repay your favor at this time. However, I will come on the morning of Thursday, and I will give you such a thing that will change your condition. Having said this, the old man left from there. On the Thursday, when the sun had not yet risen, the farmer came and sat at the door after offering namaz. At the same time, he saw the old man who was standing at the door. He had a cage in his hand inside, which a pigeon with white feet was visible. The old man said to the farmer, you have done kindness with me. That is why this is the payback for you. The farmer said, what benefit will I get from taking this pigeon? The farmer became disheartened after seeing the pigeon. He was thinking that he will get kinds of diamonds and jewels that the old man will bring him, which will change his condition. The old man said, Oh dear, what do you know? How precious is this pigeon? Listen, at midnight of Thursday night, it becomes gold. You will take it off the roof and get it out of the cage and set it free. But if you sell it, you will get thousands or lakhs of money. But the condition is that you will remain awake at midnight. If you do not remain awake at midnight, then it will turn white. Like the man said about these pigeons, after hearing this, the best part was that he felt as if his dream had suddenly been fulfilled, and he immediately agreed to do so. He extended his hand and took the cage and thanked the old man profusely. The old man did not wait even for a minute and left from there, but while leaving he said, be careful that no one should know about this. The farmer had promised the old man not to tell the secret to anyone. But when the farmer's wife made a big request, the farmer had told her the real matter and promised that she would not tell this secret to anyone. Both of them sat near the cage and started waiting for midnight. There was still some time left for midnight, but as soon as it was midnight, what happened was that they saw that the pigeon started shining like gold. It was white, but at that time, it became golden. Following the old man's words, the farmer immediately moved ahead. He plucked two or three pieces of feather and then started waiting for the morning. When the morning came, he went to the goldsmith and sold them. The goldsmith was surprised that he had gold sails on top of the feather. Where did the gold come from? It is found in different places, but in it is found for the first time. He had seen this thing already at that time, and he did not ask him anything. But when he came to the goldsmith the next day after every Thursday to sell this, and took money in exchange for them, but now this thing started getting suspicious. So he told this to the rich man who lived there because he was his closest one. When this story was told to the rich man, he had no shortage of wealth, but still he was very greedy and had too much greediness. He said that he is a poor farmer, he does not have anything of gold, then where did this come from? Get to know this secret. If you tell me the true secret, and if you give it, then see, I will make you rich. The goldsmith said, okay, this time when he comes, I will definitely get to know from him. I will do it. The goldsmith promised it to the rich man. 
Now after knowing this, he told the rich man. The greedy rich man thought that if I could get that pigeon, then I would be very lucky. He told the farmer's neighbor and the goldsmith that if you somehow bring that cage to my place, I will make you rich with the reward. The neighbor told his wife that somehow you will lead astray the farmer's wife and that cage will be ours. Bring it home and then I will restore this cage to the rich man. His wife was very smart. She fooled the farmer's wife and she picked up the cage and brought it to her home. When the farmer came back home, the cage was not present in the house. He grabbed his head and got very angry at his wife because of her mistake. Someone took away the cage from the house and here he was crying and crying and on the other hand listening to the rich man's story. He had already got the cage with the white pigeon and the assiduity was also told that he had to sit near the cage without sleeping at midnight every Thursday and as soon as he will see that the pigeon would turn golden, he would immediately pluck it. He kept waiting from midnight to morning but the feathers of that pigeon didn't turn golden. He was very shocked. Then he started waiting for Thursday the next week. When the night of Thursday aim, he started looking at it again. Now there will be gold on it. Now there will be. Now there will be. But he did not find gold on the pigeon. He was very disappointed. He went to the goldsmith very angrily. He came to the goldsmith and asked what mischief you have created. You lied to me. I've been waiting for this for two weeks, but still the feathers didn't get golden. The goldsmith said, I think the farmer has cheated you. The goldsmith said, if you go to him, and if he tells the judge that you have stole his cage, then think about what punishment you will get. After listening to what the goldsmith said, the farmer, I think I should return this cage to the farmer the way I had brought it from him, because it is of no use to me. It is just a pigeon, and what I have to do keeping a pigeon in my house. He told the neighbor to return this cage to the farmer through his wife to put back the cage in his house in the same way as his wife had brought it. Now when the farmer saw that the pigeon and its cage had come back, he was very happy to see this, and started waiting for the day of Thursday to arrive. When Thursday night came, its feathers became golden again, and the farmer took him out in the morning. Then he went to the goldsmith to sell it. When the goldsmith bought the gold curtain again, he was surprised and upset. At the same time, a wise man entered the shop. He was the same man whom the farmer had helped him. He said, what kind of secret was this? Only this farmer knew, but he told this secret to you because you insisted on him. He was a poor person, what could he do? But your owner is a rich man, he is a greedy person. This pigeon does not give gold to itself by going to any greedy person. It only helps the one who has sympathy and goodness in his heart. This farmer helped me because he is one who helps people. This gift was given to him. And now beware if he tries to keep an eye on this pigeon, then watch out and whatever wealth the rich man has, he will also get his hands off it. The restored farmer continued to live his life like this. He got the result of a good deed, the golden pigeon. After some time he became very rich indeed. He bought a luxurious house, got nice clothes made and started living with pride while that rich man kept looking at him. But the old man had told him that you will have this pigeon for as long as you have goodness in your heart, there will be sympathy in your heart. Therefore, the day your heart gets away sympathizes for the poor. This pigeon will disappear on the same day. That is why he just takes care of this thing and never lets the spirit of goodness diminish in his heart. Friends, undoubtedly the quality of goodness is very fine and noble. We try to do it for you to come up with such incidents from which you can learn a lesson. We hope that this is our lesson today. You must have liked the video. What lesson did you learn from today's video? Do comment in the comment box. And friends do not forget to share today's video with your friends. Surely sharing such videos will take people towards goodness. If we want to convey the message we want to convey through these videos, then ever. If people receive the message properly, then a revolution will be born in us. And then the way hatred and enmity for each other has arisen in our society, it will end and one person will fight with another person. We started loving each other. We started serving him, Allah, we and you all, each other friends. That's all in today's video. Inshallah, very soon we will be at your service with another new and interesting story. Till then, give permission to the entire team of Ali Knowledge. Take good care of yourself and your loved ones. May Allah give happiness to all. Allah Hafiz. Be sure to give a like to the video, and to get more Islamic videos regularly, subscribe to our Islamic channel and press the bell icon next to it.